Hi everybody, it's Daifu from SDIY and today I'm going to teach you how to get your first queen end. There are several methods that you can actually use to get your first queen end. You can actually purchase one from end sellers or you can actually catch one yourself when the ants are having nuptial flight. Now a nuptial flight is actually when uh, the humidity is high enough when the elites of the ants actually flew out of the nest to mate with other elites of other different nests. And after they mate, before the queen ant found a place to lay their eggs to start a colony, that's the time that you catch them. So just now, a heavy rain just happened and now I'm actually at the library of my university. And so let's try our luck and see if we can find some queen ants walking around. Ever since last year, I didn't manage to catch any ants, any queen ants because there's no nuptial flight happening around me. And I can say that after so long, this is actually the first queen ant that I actually caught. Now, there are several things you need to take note when you are ant hunting. You actually go to a place with a lot of light, like here, with a plain background, and also the floor. Actually, you can see that the ants just had their nuptial flight. But unfortunately, these yellow crazy ants take them back to their nest as food supply. Oh, that's a fidole. Could be an islanderia. Alright, now one thing that you don't want to do is put all the queen ants into one container because they will actually fight each other until they die. But because I only have one container with me, I have to put them together. Now this is a drone of Campanodus. Most probably is Campanodus albosparsus. That's also a drone, also a drone, still a drone. All these are drones. Let me take you up there. went through a round of the library parameter and that's all the queen ants that I got. Three ants. So now I'm in a private room in the library and let's recap what we have learned today. So first, how do you know that when a nuptial flight is actually happening? after a heavy rain of course and then about one or two hours later go out into the field and start hunting your ants and most probably you will get a lot of different species of queen ants now it's actually a season of Carabara diversa and also Campanola species secondly go to a bright place a bright place where the ants are usually attracted to the light and they will most probably just stand on the wall like what you see just now and of course, sometimes they will be walking around on the floor. Third thing, remember to bring more than one container. Now, there are several benefits of catching queen ants yourself. You get the excitement of waiting and also watching the colony actually grow from a single queen until a few hundreds of thousands of workers. You will get the excitement. Every single little, little milestone that the ant colony actually achieved. And I'm not against buying a colony from 
and sellers. Because even I myself am selling and colonies, but you just lose the excitement of raising the colony from single queen. Wow, the first egg, the wow, it became a lava, and the, when the moment the first worker emerged, and the moment that you first feed them the first drop of honey, I can assure you that satisfaction is amazing. But if you are not that patient enough, you can always approach an ant seller that you can actually give an ant colony at a reasonable price. So there are actually a number of my friends who are actually also selling ants. Alright, so after watching this video, I hope that you will be able to go out there and get your very first queen ant. I wish you all the best and I hope that if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also share this video if you find it informative. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here and I'll see you next time. Bye! The next tutorial video will be about how to prepare a test tube setup and also a test tube setup for Carabara Diversa Queen. So make sure you stay tuned.